Hello and welcome to Geophysics Made Easy with Blueback Reservoir. Today we're going to look at some basic seismic analysis and AVO classification. So the goal today is to see how we can use the Blueback Geodata Investigator and the Seismic Reservoir Characterization to investigate and classify any AVO effects. The first thing we're going to do is cross plot the angle stacks uh, to see if we have any um, effects worth investigating. Then we're going to create uh, an intercept and gradient from the angle stacks and again plot that those two to see if uh, we have any interesting effects. And finally we're going to create the AVO class volume. So it will look something like this. We're going to cross plot our angle stacks together and make use of the GDI matrix plot window to investigate any initial effects. We're then going to create an intercept and gradient from those angle stacks. Cross plot those two together to see if we have any uh, effects worth investigating and finally make an AVO class uh, volume. So let's jump into Petrel and see how that works. So the first thing I'm going to do is insert a new Blueback GDI investigation and then by choosing Seismic and choosing my survey I can then choose my near mid and far angle stacks. I also want to constrain this to an area of interest. So I'm going to choose about 200 milliseconds of seismic and then because it's constrained quite nicely in the time direction I can increase the amount of uh, samples. Press OK. And then once that's complete I can open a new matrix window and turn on that investigation. So here we can see uh, the matrix window in action. It cross plots all of my selected dimensions together. So I have my near versus far and near versus mid, mid versus far and mid versus near. I can also color by any of the um, volumes I've selected. And in doing so, I see that I have some nice effects on the near versus far that warrant some further investigation. So the next thing I'm going to do is create a intercept and gradient. I can find a way of doing that from the Blueback SRC. So I select Blueback Home and then by filtering by intercept I can find the tool Seismic Reservoir Characterization Intercept and Gradient. I then have to drop in my different angle stacks and specify their midpoint. So here I have the near and specify the mid angle at 9 degrees and by pressing apply it creates a intercept and gradient volume. The next thing to do is to create a cross plot of intercept gradient to see what it looks like. Again choosing my geodata investigator I can add my geometry then my intercept and gradient and then I can choose again a specific time window and press OK. I've already created this one here. So here we see I have my intercept versus gradient plot. If I find a, a nice response here that I want to highlight in a bit more detail, I could for example add a restriction to this seismic and then create a dynamic point set. And this would help me highlight the points in 3D. So here I can toggle on my dynamic point set like so and if I color by attribute I can see the selected points in 3D and just to show you that this plot then has a bit of interactivity so I can reselect my region of interest and redisplay the points I'm selected. So this is a kind of crude way of uh, seeing where certain AVO effects might be uh, happening in the real world but let's then create a AVO class volume. So then choose my blue back home again and this time select the tool AVO classification. From here I'm going to select my first of all change it to seismic and choose my survey. I then select a intercept 
and gradient seismic. Again, trimming to my zone of interest. Then by clicking refresh on the plot, I'll get a, a seismic cross plot of intercept and gradient. And then you see the different AVO classes here divided on this cross plot. I can change the color of these classes if I like. I can also mute the seismic by using uh, this mute function if I want to perhaps turn off certain classes or try and mute the background trend. Uh, this could help highlight certain anomalies in your seismic. You can also rotate the mute so that it better reflects the background trend. Then by pressing apply, I then get an AVO class volume created. I'll just create another one without the mute. Then what we can do is display this AVO class volume in 3D. And I'll just turn off those points. And if I show also the unmuted. So the AVO class volume creates a fairly um, hectic display, but what you really want to look for is any consistent anomalies in the seismic. So down in this region here, it looks like I have a nice consistent uh, class uh, 2 and 3 uh, type anomaly. So then by inserting a time slice, I can see if it's consistent. So here you can see that in this region I have quite a nice consistent class 2 and class 3 AVO. So to conclude these were the steps that we did to make a basic overview of the AVO uh, and seismic analysis in this data. Um, this was done by using the Geodata Investigator and the Seismic Reservoir Characterization Toolbox. Thanks for listening, and if you have any questions, please feel free to contact us.